If you'd like to see how I'm going to transform these Dollar Tree items into this lovely DIY Memorial Shadow Box, keep watching this video. Hey YouTube, so today in this video, I am going to be making a Memorial Shadow Box. This is my first time making a Shadow Box, and I think I may be short of a picture frame. I think it depends on how deep you want it. So I'm going to be using these Dollar Tree picture frames. I probably could have used one more. I want the background of it to be a mirror, and I thought the mirror was the same size as the frames, but it's not. So we're just gonna work that out and see how that goes. And also from the Dollar Tree, I have these acrylic gems. They are red. I'm making this for my aunt. And um, here's a picture that I merged together. I did a video uh, making this. This is epoxy resin. And I just put some, um, some pearls in it just to give it a little bit of design to it. My plan is to make the box with this photo of them inside of it. And then at the bottom to have these red acrylic gems. My aunt's favorite color is red. So that's why I have this, this red theme going on. I don't really like E6000, but I don't want to use my liquid fusion glue for this project. But I will be using the E6000 for this. Um, it's really strong and extremely toxic. I'm just gonna use like a little bit to make this stick to the mirror. I have my hot glue gun, so I'll be using that as well. Also on Amazon, I purchased some of these LED starry string lights. So they're like some fairy lights. You don't have to have this in your um, shadow box, but if you wanted to have like a little light effect, it's, it's really cute. So I'm gonna use that. I used my Silhouette Cameo to cut out um, the name. Um, so this is actually my grandmother on my father's side. She uh, passed away about 11 years ago. So I wanna make something really nice for my aunt. So it says um, her name on here, Annie. Then it says loving mother and grandmother. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. And I'll just take one of these out. I think I bought this for about $12 on Amazon and you get, they're 7.2 feet long. Oh wow, you get 20 of them. Okay, I didn't realize that many came in here and it does have an on and off button in here. So I guess it's two boxes of 10. It comes with a cute itty bitty little screwdriver if you need to use that. And this is what it looks like. Can you see that? So this is what it looks like. I have three bags of the acrylic gems, but I don't know exactly how many I'll need. I wanted to have more than enough than not enough, so we'll see. I may end up just using two bags. We'll see, and if I need four, I do have an extra bag somewhere as well. I've also seen these come in blue and clear. Clear is always sold out, always. So I was glad when I saw these, so I was like, let me just get a few more. You could do some really nice things with these. So I like to keep the little alcohol pads and I will be cleaning We're off go the ahead mirror. And get started. I went ahead and took everything out of the packaging. So what I'm going to do is take the glass. Okay, so what I'm doing here is taking apart the picture frames. I'm going to take the glass out of all of them except for one. And that one will be the very front part of the glass. Right there I had these little tabs and I couldn't find my little small pliers so I just used what I had, which was a little fingernail clipper, to remove the tabs. You'll need to leave these little tabs on one, which will be the frame that you have in the back of your shadow box. Doesn't take long at all to remove these little tabs and then you'll have a handful of them and then you can proceed on to the next step. Okay, so the issue I ran into, the mirror did not fit flush with the frames. So thank goodness I did have another frame. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this open, lay them all together, put the mirror in the back one because that's what I want to be in the back. If you don't want a mirror in the background, you could just put like maybe some glitter cardstock paper um, you can paint it. You can do a lot of different things. I'm just gonna ahead, go ahead and get this open and then we'll start to glue our frames together. 
Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is take the E6000 and put little dots in the corners and you want to make sure you don't put too much because once you press down your glass it'll like smudge into the glass and be messy so just start off with a dot in each corner and then just kind of lightly go along the frame this is going to secure your glass in the very front of your shadow box okay so you'll take the backing sheet for one of your frames and cover it with your mirror the problem I ran into, my mirror was a little bit too small for to cover the whole backing sheet. So I had to get creative and improvise, so I used this chrome vinyl to cover up majority of it. Then I E6000 the mirror to the backing sheet. Okay, so I'm just cleaning off the mirror now because I had my hands all over it. And I'm taking my frames and gluing them together using E6000 and hot glue gun. Just to make sure that it dries a little quickly so I can keep moving. Because if you only use the hot glue gun, that's like a temporary hold. The E6000 is, is much more of a permanent hold. Now I'm going to take my resin casting, clean the back of that off with a little bit of alcohol and kind of position it where I want it to go on this mirror. Now that I've saw where I want it to go, I'm just gonna add some E6000 and a tap of hot glue to position it in place. Okay, so this next part was a little tricky for me. I'm adding the fairy light. As you can see, it is like a clear transparent color and it's very thin. So I was trying to put little dots of hot glue to make it stay and kind of jumble it up at the bottom because I figured the bottom part wouldn't show as much because I'm going to have the acrylic gems. Now, as you can see, I'm pouring in the acrylic gems. They're just so pretty. And again, these are at the Dollar Tree, but it's hard to find them. Sometimes people come and I guess buy them all up. So if you see them, get a couple bags, at least two or three, because I use three for this. So I figured once I have the acrylic gems in there, that the fairy light can kind of shine through at the bottom and then just kind of have a little bit of the fairy light around. So I'm just closing this up just to make sure it closes with the little fairy light coming through. There is how it looks with the light on. Again, this is optional. You don't have to have the fairy light on here. I just thought it would be I just thought it'd be very cute and to have it lit up if it's dark. Okay, so um I ran into a little road bump, a couple of them. I wasn't exactly sure how to get this very light on here. Um it just kind of I figured I'll have the acrylic gems here and the light can just poke through it so this won't be showing. And um what am I say? So far, I have two bags of acrylic gems inside of the box. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this and put it in here and see what it looks like before I close it up to decide if I want to add. And this is my first time doing this. The next time, I'm sure it'll be a lot better. So I just you can decide if you want to do it the wide way or if you want to do it. And then you have to have this hanging on the outside. So of course you could change the batteries. You could either just kind of have it to the side, maybe on the back. I'm gonna cut the light on and see how it looks. I think if I put another bag of gems in here, that'd be too much. I don't wanna overflow it and have it touching or covering the photo. Hmm. I think the light in it, let me cut this down. Yeah, I think the light in it is a, a nice added touch. So I like it. I wanna just get better at it, but I do like it. 
but um, I'm gonna go ahead and close this up and then I'm going to add the wording that I cut out okay so now I'm just adding the words that I cut out with my silhouette cameo cutter there's a few scratches that I'm showing you right here even though it was covered up in plastic I want to cover those up so I found this mosaic tile mirror edge I'm gonna use and you have to be careful using this because it is like literally mirror so it cut it can cut you up just a little bit on your fingers if you're not careful I cut out two little small strips to go along the edge of this frame just to give it a little more razzle and dazzle I think it definitely made it look a little more glamorous so this is almost finished the on and off switch that goes to the fairy lights can be stuck to the side with 3m tape and here is the final result I wanted you guys to see how it looks with the lights dimmed so I cut the lights down and cut on the fairy lights which are optional now I'm, I'm showing you how it looks with the lights back on and I'm going to cut it off so you can see that if you don't have the fairy lights you can still see the photo pretty good and it still looks just as good without any fairy lights in there because you may figure you don't want to you don't want to bother with them you may feel like they're difficult but I think this is a wonderful gift to give someone um, even if it's not like a memorial thing I'm honoring uh, the, my grandmother and my aunt that they were so close I just figured this would be a nice little keepsake you can make one of these for people who are still alive and well also, you could put your children in here. This would be a nice wedding gift to put someone's wedding photos in. There's so many different uses and ways that you can use this. I hope you guys receive some type of inspiration to possibly make one of these for yourself or a gift to someone. If it is going to be a memorial box, those little gifts and photos and pictures, like memories are like precious metals and golds. Like, I don't even know how to really explain it, but I am going to make one of these for me. I, as well, lost my mother. And when I make cute little things and little memorial things just to hold those precious memories, it just makes you feel a little bit better. Um, it kind of like patches up the hole you have in your heart from losing a loved one. If you are here and you've lost a loved one, my heart goes out to you. Um, mothers are extremely special and their love is always around and never forgotten whoever you lost my heart goes out to you and if you're here just because you want to make a shadow box for someone who hasn't passed away like I said that's brilliant as well these are just so cute um, they're sparkly you don't have to have the mirror in the back you can do um, glitter card stock or you could just do a plain um, construction paper color there's so many ways you can go with this. You can add flowers inside of it if you don't want to go the route with the acrylic gems. There's just so much you can do. And you can find this mosaic tile on like eBay, um, AliExpress, Amazon. You can find it places like that. You could even use glitter on the frame if you want to. You know, just throwing out some ideas. But I thank you all for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Share it on Facebook if you want to. Um, subscribe if that's what if that's what you like to do. If not, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Also, be sure to check out some of the other videos I have here. And thanks for watching. Bye bye.